So the HD map is very different from the traditional map, uh, the, the one we use today on our cell phones, because those the traditional maps are designed for uh, humans to be consumed by humans, so they, they cannot be consumed by robots, right? So for self-driving cars, uh, it needs a different type, a different technology of maps. Uh, it needs a higher precision, right? Uh, the, the traditional map is, uh, could be missed you know, by meters, right? So that's not acceptable for self-driving cars because yeah, safety is a concern. To get where we are today, uh, we cannot, it's not, it's not even possible without AWS, right? Um, so we, our uh, primary platform today is uh, AWS, um, though we try to keep our uh, architecture really kind of independent of any, uh, from logged into any, uh, any cloud providers. Uh, for AWS, we use a lot of your services. Um, for storage, we use S3, uh, RDS, um, for machine learning, we use SageMaker. For computing, we use uh, EC2, EMR. Um, for uh, web services, we use EKS, ECS. Uh, we use uh, CloudFront for caching, uh, for CDN, uh, Route 53, you know, lots of services. So we, uh, we attended reInvent uh, last year, right? So uh, there were a lot of uh, services is, you know, uh, that we found we could actually leverage. So SageMaker is one of them. Uh, prior to that, uh, we primarily using uh, our own kind of in-house solution to do uh, uh, deep learning. Uh, so we use deep learning heavily uh, in a, a, a lot large scale. You know, so we use a lot of GPU resources. Uh, so we found uh, SageMaker actually will help us uh, manage our uh, infrastructure so we could uh, delegate some of the work uh, to SageMaker instead of doing uh, developing every all the solution uh, in-house on our own. Uh, the company has been doing uh, extremely great uh, um, from the product development as well as you know uh, growing the team, also uh, acquiring customers. So we have kind of more customer than we could handle. And that's a great problem to have.